start the recording. Under the Mayo though, I've seen a couple of his reviews. Not gonna lie, the guy kind of whines about a lot of stupid stuff. I don't really watch too many of his reviews. If you like him, great. I'm not shitting on him. I'm just saying that his review style doesn't reflect what I care about. I feel like he's out there to get the uh, the hate views. Like it feels a little forced. As long as I'm okay with it, the voice is very soothing. Thank you. Wait, what was I doing? Atreus probably said something and I missed it. Alright, so we clearly have to bring that thing up. Which means we probably need to get water there. Which means... Oh, there's shit over there. Sounds like you got the water moving along, brother. What next? Another thing too, I remember in the previews, they were like, Kratos can hook shot up to ledges now. It's like, but when you actually do it, you realize that, so what? <laughs> All you do it is to get to ledges that you just can't climb normally. You, if you, you can't, it doesn't increase mobility because you can't like hook shot anywhere you want like you can with a hook shot. Winter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. Stop. He explains stuff so well, you need to do a video aid. Ah, oh, I see, I see. The thing is though, I kind of don't watch reviews of just about anybody. And it's not because it's a slam against any other content creators who focus on reviews. It's because I value my own opinion way more than anyone else's. Across the way, there's another door. Maybe that's the one. Because if I already play God of War, I don't need to watch a review on God of War. I already played it. I already formed my opinion. Oh, okay. So you can. All right, let's try. Okay, so I definitely do see the improved effects of me with the armor. Is jumping still context sensitive? You know it. It's too hard to program jumping into a video game. The reason why they don't do jumping in a video game, quite frankly, is if you now if you introduce jumping into your video game, you now have to consider collision physics for literally everything the player can jump into or around. You also don't want people figuring out solutions of their own. Like, what if I ran? What if I want to run up and down this trough of water, and it accessed me at different parts of the level? Now, you as a player would think that'd be awesome. It would have more freedom of control with this level. It would have more depth to it because I can actually traverse it however I want. But the game developers don't want you to do that. They want you to kind of stick your feet grounded and only move the way they want you to move in the places they want you to move. So they don't give you a jump. And your hookshot only works in a couple different places. That's why you don't put in a jump. It's because you don't actually want player freedom of mobility or movement. It's why some games don't even give you a sprint button. It's because they want to control the pacing with which things load and when and where you encounter things. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, I'm saying it's pretty much the reason behind, behind they do that. If it's not that they couldn't do it, they just don't want to, because it involves a lot more work. Uh, did you see that over there? I mean, I see there's like a little... A, explosive barrel right behind it. I wonder if I can... No. There's a 
the broken door up to the left behind this crank. Maybe Tyr tried to escape. Look. There we go. Wait, where are you going? We will return. Uh oh. Is this an optional creature fight? Another door. Let's beat these guys and check there. All right, big guy, come down. I see you. Oh, aren't you clever? We shot that. You see what I mean? It would be nice if I could hook shot up to that ledge over there, but the game doesn't want you to do that. Oh. You see how little scarring there is on that? How little gore there is? It just kind of distracts me. These guys are annoying little wretches, I'll tell you what. Treasure chest wasn't even worth it. How do I do the grappling thing again? I just bought it. It was, um... How do I do it? Oh, okay. Stolen by Ulf, Yolf, the thief. A remastered remake recap. Hmm. Same with how the puzzles are spoiled by the NPCs. That's another thing that uh, is very true that people have said about this game. That is, that is very true. As soon as you see a puzzle, the characters will immediately solve it for you. <laughs> It's- I'm laughing because it's so absurd. I've almost never seen that level of, um, hand-holding that you can't even turn off. I looked into it, you can't turn it off. So it's just- guess- gotta just go with the flow with it, I guess. Because the only time that I've seen it as 
egregious as that, but even then it wasn't that bad. It was in Uncharted. So Uncharted has a bad habit of as soon as you enter a puzzle area, Nathan Drake or his companion will immediately direct your attention to the solution. They won't directly tell you how to do it, but they'll tell you what you need to interact with. And if you open up his little handy dandy plot device journal, it will tell you exactly what the solution is. At least you don't have to open his journal. But the fact is, as soon as you start any puzzle, they give you the solution is kind of the main point. And here, they don't even make you do that. You, they just straight up tell you the solution. How is the water not falling from that trough? But to be honest with you, that bothers people like me who enjoy the puzzle solving aspect of it. There are many people, and I suspect they know that there are many people who play God of War typically who do not like puzzle solving. I'd wager this water wheel powers the light. Let's try to get it moving. See, like I was like, how do I turn on this elevator? And immediately he's like, I bet this water wheel does it. Thank you. Well, they remastered God of War 2018 in a few years like they did with The Last of Us. I would be surprised if they didn't if they announced a, uh, a remaster, not this year, because there's only about a month and change left, but uh, before the end of the year, yes. Alright, so I need to get to that side. Oh, there's a chest up there. Oops. Why did they buy? Oh yeah, retro chat. Exactly. Where it's like, in the past they would have substituted platforming for the um, for what we're doing now, which is the puzzle section. Oh, I just have to go up here. And yes, yeah, because they don't have a um. Because they have to do something between the uh, encounters. And they do a similar thing that they did in the last game, which is in between combat encounters. Um, like when there's a loading screen, but they hide the loading screens with like the little shimmying sections. Uh, what they do is they simply have somebody topping. But I would just want to fight something. Anything. Even if it was just to know I still could. Oh, I bet what I have to do is this. Look at us, now we're thinking with portals.
Didn't Doom Eternal have platforming between encounters? I would say yes. The the expected traversal that they expect out of you in Doom Eternal can probably be uh, made equivalent to platforming, 100%. Here? Whoa, what happened here? Will I do a Crisis Core Remastered Remake Recap? It really depends on if they actually do retcon it. If it's the same story, then no, I'm not going to waste my time. And I mean like the exact same story, everything. But if they try to link it up with the uh, recent 7-7 verse in terms of retconning things, then honestly, I just might. I know I'm going to do a recap of... Uh, on the left. It's honestly, it's faster to punch these things. Uh, re near reincarnation, not reincarnation. That's the mobile game, but the near uh, replicant. That remaster, because they actually added an entirely different uh, ending to it, and they also added more. And I also, in my first version of doing that, I didn't do a lot of the new extra information that you get from a new game plus, and I've always wanted to add that in, and it's a perfect way to add it in now. So, I'll be doing that. I'll be doing the replicant remaster recap. Because it just, just kind of makes sense, you know? Is that a relic? That is a very well-preserved body. Been a meh. Increases the bonus to melee damage for a short duration. How long is the duration? How big is the increase? Do you mind being slightly more specific in literally any more informative manner? You see, it's times like this where it's like whoever did the descriptors or this, they were, that's fucking lazy. That is, that is always so lazy. There is no harm in being specific. If you're going to make me stat calculator out my armor and all my cooldowns and all this shit like that, you better be specific with the bonuses I'm getting. If you're going to add complexity to the system, you need to add transparency in the information as well. Because if you want me to feel that big numbers feel good, dopamine hit, you got to do better than this. This is lazy. Lazy combat design. Okay, so that's good to know that if I do three consecutive hits. You get three consecutive hits, you get the bonus to your ice. That's actually pretty good. Because you get your rage back so quickly, you're better off kind of like using it like Doom using your finishers to regain ammo and health, you're better off using your rage to regain health. Which incidentally can drop more rage crystals to keep it going. So I actually do like that. That to me is a combat improvement. 
making your rage kind of a utility, like, health regen. Because it really isn't that impressive otherwise. They they horribly nerf the amount of, like, fist-to-fist -fist combat you can do in this game. I don't know why. And they should have expanded it as a playstyle, where just, like, bare fist brawling was its own expanded tree. That should have been a thing. But they completely killed it. Not sure why they did that. It's not like this game has so many weapons to it. I was thinking there was going to be something more complex than that. We got off the boat by Sindri. This mine is one enormous spiral. Man, don't these dwarves bury their dead? Ooh, chests. I see treasure. I think I can hear something in there. A random lava pit. Uh, is there a reason why I cannot lift this door? Me, the god of war? Oh, we hear one of Odin's raven things. Or... Just any statue. That stony visage hung over the entrance to the world. Robert Sweeten, love your stuff, dude. Thank you. Didn't know you did streaming as well. Absolutely. Super glad to discover you tonight. Thank you. What I'm going to be doing more regularly is honestly using my streaming time to do future recap footage collection and probably on the more modern games. And that way I can just kind of alternate between doing like classic stuff and then modern stuff. Not gonna lie, there are some people who. Oh. Oh, that hurt. Oh, we have a mini boss. I was not prepared for this. Okay. Okay. Taking that L, taking that L. I'm not gonna resurrect. I was not ready for a mini boss fight. Alright, focus up. You need a small key like in Zelda to open the door. Honestly, you're not wrong. All right, focus up. Mini boss time. Oh, that's a red attack. I may not be high enough level for this because <laughs> he's taking me down in a couple of hits and I'm doing like marginal damage for him. Hold on. We're going to keep trying. Okay, I need to block that attack. Alright. He just half my health bar in one attack. Damn. So he starts with the blockable and then ends with an unblockable. Bloody 
What if I kite him? Can I kite him? Okay, that's gonna be a thing. That's not gonna work. Okay, and he's a type of boss who is going to home in on you with his attacks. Got it. Yeah, we'll try again another time. That's clearly an optional boss area. If we're gonna have a dude who has homing unblockable attacks, we're gonna come back another time. Sorry, it's not story related. Thank you, God of Engineering. Ready when you are. Also, Robert, it's just kind of fun to just have a sounding board of that one has to be it. an open forum of opinions. Like we'll have to get to it first. Well across. Look for another way. I think I see a crank over here. Atreus, another mental exercise. Would one who spends their life fighting, such as Tyr, have any desire to prove themselves? The proof leaves a wake of destruction. But if the wake of destruction is a bunch of bad guys, why does that matter? You're strong. And you did the right thing. War does not measure the strength of a man. I hope one day you understand. Okay, it looks like this machine is dropping ore into the water trough. Okay. We didn't move that over there. But how do we move that over there? Oh, I get it. It's a shame I can't just hang there for a little bit. go down there too.
Hmm. What I'm unclear about is what I'm supposed to use the ore for. Because the ore just sinks into the water. Because we get explosive ores that comes into the water. And then they disappear. Freezing that clumps up the ore. And then brings that over there. Freezing this raises a pier, which I need to get over there. Hmm. What is the sequence? I wish I could go down, though. This I don't mind because they're not actually explaining the puzzle for me. I'm actually having to solve it for myself. I think I have the elements that I need. Oh wait, you can't just use it. Never mind. I was overthinking well, that. Quite work. Something else we can do? We can freeze ore? Okay, in that case, I didn't know that was an option. Oh, wait, you told me I had to freeze it in that specific spot? Okay, I didn't know that. Never mind. I was overcomplicating it. That's what I get for trying to overthink it. Be like, maybe you have to sequence this and sequence that. like, no, you have to freeze it in a specific spot. And then you'll get it. I'm like, oh my god, now I feel stupid. The game is like, did you know you could freeze ore? I'm like, I, I actually didn't know I could freeze ore. Now I feel dumb for trying to solve a puzzle with an element I didn't realize was crucial to solving the puzzle. <sighs> go back and check out that last door, right? I'm telegram to be still. <laughs> I hear you. Where are you? There you are. I'm afraid that if I go back, it'll close the door. But I also want to see if it'll open the door and keep it open. This door better not lock. It better not be a one-way door. Okay, good. It's not... Looks familiar. We're back in the spiral section of the mine.
I think it's also funny when the story asks Kratos to jump somewhere. He's like, we cannot jump there. And then, like, in cutscenes, he'll jump, like, 300 feet into the air. You know how it goes, video game logic. Damn it! Did you hear that, brothers? I don't think we're alone. He is open. Eyes up. It came from over here. There's a passage leading out. Atreus, do my words irritate you? It's fine. I get it. Brothers. Wait, is that light up ahead there? Hey, this might be it. That door's barred. They must be trying to keep something in. You don't lock a door like that to secure the spare bed for I see what we must do. Go. Go. Yeah, that really looks like somewhere I could go. I feel like I could hook shot up there with my freedom of movement or something. I don't know. Oh, and here we are. See what I'm talking about? Where your visibility is so bad in third-person games, it's why nobody likes to use them. <laughs> How can I not block that? Why did I suddenly turn? that they have unflinching attacks. See how clean those cuts are? It's like we're back in 2005. Very low level of detail. And if you want a good example of like what kind of gore do you expect, take a look at literally um, any zombie game made in the last decade. For some reason, zombie games do a very good job of illustrating body damage and gore. Like Dying Light and Resident Evil put almost the entire industry to shame when it comes to like visceral body damage. I'm not saying that you need to have that level of detail, but you should have more than what you present. Isn't there auto aim in this game? I think you can actually turn that on.
Wait, two really wasn't this random ass dwarven mine? What trickery is this, Odin? What gay do you play with me now? We're not with Odin. We're the good guys. The reason why Tyr couldn't have broken out of that himself. This is the god of war. Oh, I forgot to do the counter. Okay, I forgot, Chad. I was supposed to do my homework and look up how many times they said god of war in the first part of this session. I'll do it next time. I'll have it ready. He sounds really young. He sounds like a teenager. Like, I'm almost expecting a voice crack out of him. Can we take that mace? That mace was really good. They did, like, a lot of damage to me. Can I block that? We need some cold resist armor is what we need. Damn, if only I had freedom of movement, I could easily get back up to the place where I just was. But then again, this is God of War. I tried dodging out of that, come on. How can I not block that? Damn, I'm just taking these hits. Out of shape. Okay, so you can block the attacks, that's good.
Oh, what's that? Feature ability, I guess. Kaiba kind of looks tedious. It is a little on the tedious side. You see a lot of enemies are kind of just damage sponges. It's really not that exciting. You don't have a sense of feeling powerful. And part of that is because, um, and we discussed it last time, where there's not enough visual and audio feedback for you the amount of like impact that you're doing. Look at him. You. Why? You don't know me. I know what you stood for. You because when you're slashing through like the blades of chaos, it feels like so like Force Unleashed. Problem with Force Unleashed is like during the big epic moments, you show that you know Star Killer has huge amounts of power. But for some reason, this is a game where you slash people with a lightsaber, and your lightsaber bounces off everybody. You have to like literally hack into people and slap them with your lightsaber until they die. Your lightsaber is a glorified, like wet noodle, like a pool noodle that happens to glow in the dark. It's not a lightsaber. It's just you're just slapping them with some wet noodle. Kind thought, but no. Thank you, no. But. Okay. I, uh, I, I ran because I don't always know what's real. Sometimes there's. There's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange times. Everyone hears him talk. We must return home. And yeah, there's no there's not really a sense of impact when you're heaving like the blades of chaos at someone. You'll see them just slap against the enemies. And even with the axe, like, you're hacking into them, but you're not really seeing body damage. You're not seeing them hit by the impact of, by you, Kratos, somebody who's really, really strong. They just seem slightly inconvenienced. And sometimes you don't even stagger them out of an attack. Again, there's no sensation of being powerful. You have more of an impact when you shield break them. <laughs> Out of all things. So the better you are at shield breaking things, the better you are at, uh, I guess just causing an impact. It's a strange choice in combat design. And the reason why it's strange is because this is God of War. You have eight games prior to this game. This is not a new IP where that there's no conventions or expectations for it. Are you okay? These are just much stronger when you're not sitting down. Combat this game looks like it can get boring really fast. Because they took the technique out of it as part of it. It's like you need to balance your elemental resistances and the elemental damage that you're dealing. Like what? Why do I why should I care about that? Ragnarok is coming. I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No! Um... Um... Zotia. It's good to see you in the flesh again. Namir. What's become of you? Following in your footsteps. Betrayal, indefinite imprisonment, execrable torture at the hands of the Old Father. You didn't deserve such treatment. Did you? I will say, my view is a touch better than yours. We found him at the top of a mountain with tree roots wrapped all around him. The only way to free him was to... Well, that. Highly pleasant. For all parties involved. Ah, 
You okay? The light. It's... It's been so long. There's an outcropping just ahead. The shade will make it easier on your eyes. Come on. Doesn't he have sight beyond sight? Like, he has magic eyes. Which means Balder. Balder is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos. And... Anyway, I promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Come here. Speak of Balder. I was getting to that. It wasn't all kill this, kill that. Hey, we're back in the wetlands. I hope we can fit in our little boat. Watch out! No, 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 no. It's okay. I've got you. Watch your legs! <laughs> I wish I could tell you that I found this combat incredibly engaging and a lot of fun. It's just a pleasure to do it, but I, you know, I'm not known for lying. We must leave before more creatures attack. Like I said, it's very mid combat. They haven't improved the capacities or even the limitations of third person over the shoulder combat. They did. They didn't push it forward, and they were such an opportunity. They they have two opportunities now to do something about it, and they chose to do nothing about it. Kind of disappointing. Because we've seen better in other IPs. Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? Dragon's Dogma 2 is one game I'm looking forward to. Dude, Dragon's Dogma the f just was so good. You want amazing... Is it a God of War? Like, customizable God. combat? Combat that is... Uh, surprising in terms of its level of depth, Dragon's Dogma. Man, Dragon's Dogma is one of those that is very well done in its combat systems. I am grateful. Highly rewarding of experimentation. But if you want me to follow you, incredibly customizable. Absolutely uh, rewards people who want to play their own way. Very good combat system in Dragon's Dogma. Also very challenging, but fair. But it really is kind of hard, man. And again, one of the few ways to implement, um... It's made iconic by Shadow of the Colossus, but even though, you know, whatever was before that, but... Just grabbing onto your enemy and stabbing its weak points, but not doing it with, like, these clearly pre-made, like, magic seals. Like, you can stab the wings of a griffin and it'll impair its wing to ability to fly and move. You can stab something in the eye to blind it temporarily. It's so well done. Now you'd like to finish the story? Uh, Did I be Viva so Pinata? Viva Pinata does not have an end. It only is a way of life. But have I done at literally everything you can do in Viva Pinata? Absolutely. Dude, I, I low-key love Viva Pinata. I know it's kind of a meme at this point for anybody who's been a long-time viewer of the channel is Viva Pinata. But dude, I embrace that meme.
Oh, I keep trying to... There we go. I keep trying to do that. So a great example, by the way, of how you don't make third-person combat boring, even though you're doing the same thing over and over, look no further than Gears of War 2. Gears of War 2 did a fantastic job, especially with its bosses, of you're doing the same base thing, which is cover-based third-person shooter, but you're doing it in such a variety of scenarios with a variety of different ways you are applying the same principles in different situations to make it seem like it's something completely different and original. And that's kind of what it is. Presentation and execution is key. You don't just present the same format of the same version of fighting over and over. That gets stale. For example, um, yeah, you got your base cover base shooting, but then you're doing it on a truck. You're doing it on a moving river platform. You're doing it in the middle of battling something in a sky. You're doing it between blimps. You're doing it as a wave defense. You're doing it um, on ground that's exploding around you. Like, you're doing it in different... Like, context matters. So, that's something that I feel all third-person over-the-shoulder games should learn from, is that level of presentation. Of you are quote unquote, if you boil it down and remove all nuance, you're doing the same thing. But if you actually look at how they execute it, the level of variety and creativity with those scenarios, that's what makes it so much more interesting. That's what gives you that spice that makes it all the more memorable and basically doesn't make it tedious, doesn't make it monotonous. So, can we talk about what to do next? Yes, please. We now have two God of Wars that don't want to do much Godding or Warring. Gears 2 has best campaign? Hard agree. Well, I really want them to re-put out um, like an Ultimate Edition like they did for 1 to basically remaster it and bring it up to like modern day. Uh, do that for 2 and 3. That's all you need to do. Just do 2 and 3, release a trilogy, Ultimate version, and that's that's all you need. Oh my god, is that how God of War is going to do it? Look, I can forgive Bifrost, even though it's bullshit. I can forgive um, a couple of the other names that they've done. I'm not saying I'm an expert on Norse, but I can definitely tell you it's Einherjar. There's like a re in the middle of it. It's not Einherjar. It has never been Einherjar. That is terrible God of War.
Gonna give him that reclining chair. And it really actually doesn't look very comfortable. No neck support, man. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking. Arby's. I want things to be the way they were. Well, I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. I just wish Atreus were not so restless. Got those raging teenage hormones. I know, brother. But holding him too tight will keep him out of danger. Who knew that Kratos was actually a helicopter parent? Determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tia might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His grain is fresh. He's got too much mental too damage. Much. There's no way Kratos did not see him right there. Come on, he's right there. <laughs> he's not even underneath the sill. Come on. That is, oh my god. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh. You cannot sneak up on me like that. I mean, I, I, I can. Without me, I thought we were partners. We are. Just wasn't sure you'd want to join me. Visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. Oh, she, wouldn't. she, huh? Look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? Oh, we're actually playing as Atreus now. Okay. Honestly, if we do more of this and this is more Atreus' story, I'd be okay with it. Because it clearly isn't Kratos' story. Giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead. So it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So... Oh, it's time for you. where Frey is. No, no. I mean, yes, but look. Let's just talk to the snake first. And then I won't take you to Freya. No, oh, Freya's always been nice to us. She just kind of wants to kill Kratos. All right, real fast, I need to take a quick break and get some water. We are going to be right back. Take a quick break, stay hydrated, everyone. Okay, and we're back. Very quick. Like I said, didn't have to go very far.
I wonder if we're actually going to be able to fight as a Atreus. Actually, you know what's one thing I'm surprised they haven't done yet? Whatever happened to Atreus' ability to summon things? Glad you brought your key of Yggdrasil. Seemed to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. Is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Oh. Uh, no. I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but why traumatize either of us further? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep. Just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormund Gander's nearby? I know what I smell. Okay. Well, a lot's kind of happened, and I need answers. Who's feeding our wolves at home? We still have two more wolves. Yeah, Fenrir is dead, but we're about to have three dead wolves if we don't go back and feed them. <laughs> I don't think those were magic wolves. How come we didn't bring our wolves with us? What a terrible wolf owners abandoning his pets. Okay. So easy, huh? Shut up! Ha, that's funny. They try to be. That's the thing, though, is that he's always been kind of like pretty weak. What are you looking at me for? I gave you the fancy bowstring. Now I can shoot the things without so waiting for my dad. I cast a spell when Fenrir died, but I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. You're a wizard. You need a wand to focus. Accidental magic's not all. I sort of turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slobber? Yeah. Then I lost control. Brain knows magic better than anyone. She could help, but not giant. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. Hit. Venom? How am I not hitting that? It's like right there. Like there's an invisible wall right here that I can't shoot past. Can I switch arrows? I can switch arrows. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, it's like a weird shield, I think. Okay, so if you home in on a thing, it'll actually go around cover. Interesting. Aim slightly above it. That didn't work. So what I did is I I hovered on top of it, and then you saw the arrow go around the cover onto it. So I guess on certain things, he has homing arrows. Interesting. I swear, if Atreus doesn't go back home and feed his dogs, I'm going to be very upset. See? So it goes from normal reticle to homing reticle. So that's what the whole thing is, is that he can shoot homing arrows. See, when you get that circle, it becomes a homing arrow. Yes. Feels good, right? It's great, Sindri. Where's this little knife? We're blocked. Oh, there it is. How'd the Armleteer statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Huh. Look for it. No way I'm lifting that. Maybe with some help? Don't look at me. Who knows where it's been? Trace is always slacking off on his exercise. It is soundstone, but the path's still blocked. I don't see any more on this side. Hold on, let me look around. Maybe I need a different angle. Oh, there is Yoda. Helheim.
Alpha. Ski Alpha. I hear spinning's a good trick. So it's interesting that he wants to slap things with his bow, but he doesn't want to pull out his knife. Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Here's arm. Your father owed Thor a blood payment, and well, he got it. Wow, great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled bear rampage? Beats me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching- You said you need to touch them. I like the way you think. Okay. Here yeah, for someone back. who's so magically gifted, yeah, he should be down for that. Oh, he gets his own music. What if he has a rage meter? Cause like remember in the first game when he started to like go into a rage and then he got really sick from it. Uh, that wasn't much of a finisher. He's not this aggressive normally. Come on, man. Thanks for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. Stop! The shiny. He should be like, ow, when he steps on like the little gems. Oh, look at him, he's strong enough to break the little things now. Yeah, Sinji so should be laying it on with like the offensive magic that he learned from uh, Vanaheim. Look at the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Oh, that is Depends. low blow. Is your father all the muscle? Yes. If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? <sighs> there! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. And even then he was helping him. Like, Jormungandr is actually a nice world snake. You he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Yo. 
That's not weird at all. I wonder if he's like a normal snake, even though he's a giant. And he really hates the cold. Then again, there are frost giants. See, he's fine. It means. It means we should have stayed home. Let's head back. I do like Atreus's armor, though. I think it's because it's blue and silver. Also, for someone who is overly hygienic and hates like bacteria and all those sort of shit, why are you wearing furs? Why are you wearing the skins of a dead animal? Doesn't seem very sanitary to me. Maybe I can... Would you just let me do it? That is a very good strong bow if it could do that. It is magic, I guess. He's gonna, like, gonna ding it with his hammer. So what was your plan anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is, yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck! Oh. Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable. I'm about to say it's like what Brock rubbing off on you? Jeez. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. Not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Oh, look at him. They were your Got a little muscle on You're him. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. Oops. Throw your fire thing. Come on, man.
Kid needs to eat more protein, honestly. Start doing some reps, work out a little, bulk up a bit. Oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. I... Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Oh sweet vessel, I wish it did. Okay, I was actually about to say, why don't you just step between the realms? Because it clearly does work that way. Because you can clearly get to any altitude, like the top of a mountain where a dragon can attack you. So, yeah, you, you can do that. We've seen you do it. Stepping between realms clearly does allow you to access different points of verticality. That entire scene was pointless. I don't think I can break this. I need to find another way around. You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I lied it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder. To be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you Yeah, he is wearing it. I actually didn't even notice that. Anything? Yes, it is. I have to try. That was a good call out game. I actually didn't even notice he was wearing that. Well, I mean, mostly because we look at his back all the time. But yeah, he is wearing the, the tip of the mistletoe. Kind of a creepy momentum, but then again, uh, how many times do you get the chance to kill a god? So, that's fair. Bradley was hoping we get some salty God of War fans in the stream, but I know, I know, right? It's kind of a shame. I think what I should have done is I should have titled the stream, like, some rage bait stuff. Like, God, like, Dad of Boy 2 Electric Boogaloo is kind of a playful title. But if I really wanted to get people, like, riled up and get, like, some salty people in here, uh, I probably should have named it something like... God of War Ragnarok putting the mid in Midgard, something like that. Or the classic that people are going with, God of Boar. That would have got people upset. Just keep going. But sometimes you don't need to necessarily go looking for a fight, because then one will most certainly find you. Rock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living! Living is an option. Uh. <laughs> okay. Which way to the council? As long as I go up and oh, forward, we got a bot. Hold on. I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. All right, got the bots.
Kratos' lame adventure? Well, we can't say that because we're playing as Atreus now. So that really wouldn't be authentic. All right, more soundstone. I kind of like the little dive that he does. That's actually pretty cool. Is there an explosive pot nearby? I don't see one. Oh, oh there is one. That takes care of that. I wonder if when we return to uh, being beside Kratos, if it will let us switch between the two. Because I like the high stun factor of Atreus, not gonna lie. I don't know why, but I thought that was a chair for a second. <laughs> I was like, what is a chair doing out here? Atreus, you are past your bedtime. Go to bed I right now. To if he just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? He's got a point. You Actually, do lie a lot. That's a good point. Yeah. Maybe if you stop lying to your dad, he'd have a reason to trust to him. Me? Could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Oh, he said it! I was wondering if he was gonna say that I learned it from you, Dad. Oh, I was waiting for it and they did it. I just want to see if there's anything special for shooting him in the junk. I see that's not the case. The dodge windows on Atreus are very generous. This dude sidesteps like 12 feet. See? Holy crap. I wonder if we could shoot at objects out of these air. Stick your head out. I don't, uh, I don't think I hit that. He kind of like hits it. He basically kind of lobs it like an underhand swing. Oh, bye. His accuracy is a bit weird. Gotta keep going up. I wonder what mom would do. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? Oh, I should have just done that. You think for somebody who accidentally turns into a giant bear, you would try shape-shifting like a little bit more often? At least I know I would. I'd be like, holy shit, I can transform into animals? Let me, let me try, just try controlling that power. That seems like a really useful thing. It's, especially if he can actually do that in regular combat, because he, he can soak up so much damage in his bear form. That would be kind of a cool thing to do. I hope they do that. If they don't have it to where you can command, be like, Atreus, turn into a bear! And roll out. If they don't have him do that, I'd be very disappointed. That is such a lost opportunity. You give the kid a bear transforming power and you don't use it? Come on, game.
What happened to all of our elemental arrows that we had in the last game? Like, say what you will about Kratos not having any of his techniques and his armor. They just kind of hand wave it away. Like, Atreus learned magic. How do you just, like, magically, magic, like, not remember that? And boop. I wonder if I can parry. Hold on, let me try this. I can. Okay. Guess I'm going the right way. Really wish I had a compass. Ugh, nightmares. I appreciate the aim assist that they give for this part. It makes shooting this really simple, and I don't mind that because shooting, like handling a little tiny annoying things in this game is is kind of annoying. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. Is playing as a trace any better? Yeah, they give you a lot of stunning, and they give you a lot of generous dodge frames, and they give you a lot of aim assist. So honestly, it is way easier to play as a trace. I was saying earlier. It really kind of doesn't make like Atreus doesn't seem to act in a way that I would think where it's like, okay, I know I'm part God now. That's something that we went through in the last game. How come if one of my powers is transform into a bear, he's not learning to harness that? And more to Kratos's point, if you know your kid can turn into a bear and he doesn't have control of that power, why would you not want to help him train that power? That seems like a no brainer. Oh, they're gonna be Trixies, huh? See, like, you wish he was this aggressive in normal combat. Imagine how much more useful he would be. With, like, the flips and kicks and shit. That would be great. But, yeah. You don't understand that turning into a bear that can tank like a million hit points would be super useful. I like that his block actually is a cancel animation. I appreciate that. He can do it in between other shit. He's not like Kratos, who is so slow to block. See? I can do it in the middle of anything. Atreus knows how to block on like Kratos. Because <laughs> Kratos, you can't be in the middle of like another animation if you want to block. came all this way to get your ass beat? That's a shame. Unfortunate. Destroy all the things. Ah, uh, there's a thing over there. Destroy all the things. And uneven. Yeah, kid just needs to lift some weights a little bit and he'll be fine. Honestly, Kratos doesn't feed him enough, is probably the point. I get that it's Fimble Venter and like everything's literally frozen over, but come on. Got this, 
shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Oh, since we're getting so much XP as him. Oh, okay, good. This gives me some faith. Because I was like, what the hell are you doing? Taking away all the moves I could do in the, in the last game. Oh, this is still passive shit. Cause like there's all this space over here. I hope you're filling it in. All the kid needs is some more muscle and height and all the Valkyries in the Antum. Honestly, he just needs confidence. Like if you're, he, like he's a fit kid. He doesn't look, like it honestly isn't Age of Warriors. He can kick ass. He's also part God. That's gonna be a real big plus for all the ladies. You know, since this is like, you know, the Norse and they want to have like 18 children, which is fine because honestly half of them will die. And you just need confidence. You're smart, you're competent, you're half god, you're, you're kind of strong, you could be stronger. Just be confident. Hello down there. You carry hey. yourself better. Yes, I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts. Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too. Interesting that, you know, they kind of did build a friendship with Sindri when he, you know, saved his life. Uh... <laughs> Thanks. I feel so much better now. When uh, he saved him from the dragon, so Sindri was like on their side. But interesting, they chose Sindri to be kind of like his cohort in all of this. Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean. Look, to be real, yes, he shot the arrow into his son, but honestly, Kratos could have just picked, taken that arrow and stabbed it into the dude, and it would have been fine. Arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh, I'm so dead. Why don't you just put it in your pocket if it's going to be such a contentious point? Kid, you are overthinking this. Nothing. I thought she was supposed to be the smart one. She's a goddess, you know this, right? And also a very talented witch. Oh, smooth move. Freya! You should have stayed with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? I like how she's wearing, like, mascara. Take your life on it. I mean, he already is. What do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. Yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father, save your breath. His fate is sealed. Uh. But you know who's to blame for everything. Uh, you cannot get to Odin. 
Kratos Everyone seems to get away from fate pretty often. Ragnarok will take oh, hey, it's the boar that we saved in the last game. Yeah. Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The giants have prophecies about me. They know me as Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin somehow. But since all the giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then you've already won. Yeah, who are you sharpening that sword for? <laughs> who are you planning on killing together? by yourself? Now that you can fight again, I am far from whole. Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him, he was alive. Yeah. We we broke him out of Swordle Farm. Impossible. Spartle's fine. Spartle, fine. Spartle, fine. That's no. such a hard word to say. We Spartle, the way. fine. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together, enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Run away and Do never not return. The same mercy for your father. Ah, <sighs> uh, this chest high wall. Can't jump over it. These slightly inconvenient wall of thorns. Like, if only I could just walk around it. But I can't walk around it. I have to break free. Clearly, there's like 300 times Earth gravity in Midgard. That's why nobody can jump easily. That's actually why Kratos can just jump limited times. Even he's exhausted. It's all very lore accurate. Sonic Aftershock. That sounds like a Sonic title. Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit to saying. Your dad's gonna be like, where were you, boy? You staying up late? You go into that bad side of town? You drinking those adult drinks? I ought to ground you. Good thing I like climbing. I always thought it was kind of funny how he kind of clutched the back of Kratos in the light when he was a little kid. I always thought that was kind of funny. Sindri, I told you, I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me. How did it feel to run on 
chaos. I... Oh, I get it. You control him like he's Atreus, so you just tell him to use random shit. Honestly, playing with Sindri on your back is honestly pretty good. I'll tell you one of the reasons why playing as Atreus is more satisfying than as Kratos, because Atreus is quick. And it kind of reminds you of the flow that uh, God of War games are typically known for. Is that fast flowing style, it's very satisfactory. So they haven't forgotten it. They just choose not to do it. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. Okay. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. I can only tell you when you're in the middle of a walking section. Come on, start walking. See, look at that. I am sh I am nowhere near those things, and the aim assist is so crazy. I'm nowhere near those things. <laughs> My aim is so off. I'm literally shooting, like, away from it to see how generous the aim assist is. It is incredibly generous. Holy crap. That is funny to me. Wait, what? I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Oh, Brock's actually a living dead? Of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. The thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. So both Kratos likes keeping secrets from, you know, Atreus, which nearly killed him. Sindri's keeping secrets from Brock that did kill him. And Atreus is keeping secrets from Kratos that could kill him. Interesting. Everybody here seems really bad at these decision-making points. And they all keep giving advice to the other person on when they should fix that. But nobody takes their own advice. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Very realistic in that same way. Plenty of people offer free advice that they should take themselves. So Brock's just been dead this whole time, huh? Hmm. Well, he's not fully dead. He's just mostly dead. Actually, no, he's only, a, he's only a quarter dead. He's been dead, but he, you know, came back. Yeah, you know, he's just a quarter dead. Really? Now? Need a moment. Yeah, him throwing Molotovs and explosives are really useful. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. 
one that wasn't mine to make. You say that like you didn't, like you could have just left him for dead. You got back three out of the four. Choice. That's pretty good. I, I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. We made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Very true. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's a... Shut up. Actually, Trey kind of works. If you're going to call him uh, Sin. Boy, I can smell the big guard on you. Where so were you? So I'm not you? allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. <laughs> nope. Worse. That was worse. Oh, and I heard it when I said it. All right. This is a boy who abandoned his dogs. I want you to know this. Atreus is a bad person. Refuses to go home and feed his animals. What a scumbag. He enters the door. Kratos just grabs him by the neck. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now hang on, little Jotun. Tear may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. He abandoned his dogs? Yeah, he has. So yeah, after he felt bad that Fenrir died, sure. But he has two other wolves that he left at his house that are currently starving. Go, go, go. Didn't even bring them with him. They, he could easily go home. There is a gate right in front of his house. He can go back right now and feed his animals and he chooses not to. Oh, a little mushroom man there. Uh, that's kind of different. Oh, he can't shoot. Alright, muscle man. Mushroom man. Oh, maybe muscle man. He can live for today. That is not the risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom. He doesn't go through the window, he goes through the front door. What an idiot. You have snow on you, yeah, real smooth. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus. Where have you been? Bean. Peeing? Oh my oh, god, what a shit liar. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> Eat your gruel. I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. Oh, what? sweet. Try us where I plan our next move. Oh. You're telling me you don't just throw raw meat in there water? And call it cooking? Oh my Jesus Christ. You speak like you're half dead. You hate Alphonse. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found Oh god, we're going back to Alfheim. Groa? That place sucked. The knowledge keeper? Fighting Dark Elves was so Maybe annoying. There's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. You better than the seer who saw everything. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. How fun. Hey, don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table.
And Tyr like reaches over and grabs his gruel. No, Kratos, sit down. Finish your meal. You're really up for coming with us? Finish your I meal, am. Kratos. God, you're such a bad example. Well, whatever your father's right, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards... You got a big-ass probably sausage the there. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Mm. That elf light is some good shit. To be fair, Brock is doing pretty okay for being... You know, a quarter dead, all things considered. So, where did this plan come from? Oh, from the mirror, of course. I was merely asking how you found me. He explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodar shrine. Fascinating. From there, we sent to take in stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding drawers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alphite, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Marry a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, he'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of her talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. Can he travel because he has those special eyes? Is that the whole reason why we got Mimir? Alright, so apparently I have to equip my companion. Can I just have Sindri? Sindri is almost like more interesting than Atreus. You have to upgrade your Spartan Rage. Alright, I guess I should be doing that. Yeah, I much prefer this this armor versus like his other one. I think that's probably his default one, right? Yeah, this one looks way better, for real. Kind of regal, you know. I like it. He really did it. Tear really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts, or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? See, the thing with Sindri is that he's always so skittish that him being skittish now doesn't attract attention. And I guess Atreus being a smarmy little shit is also par for the course. May it strike true. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh shit, why did I do that? Actually, this is fine. It fits. 
For a second I thought I upgraded the wrong thing. Like I was looking at something and upgraded the wrong thing. But okay, we got some upgrades going. Hopefully a little bit more survivable against that uh, frost damage. Kratos is surprisingly not pressing his son, but I suspect he does know. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friend. It makes you think that Atreus is just pretending to be slightly inept in combat just to downplay his real skills, which I really don't see how that helps anybody. I'm trying to rationalize it for the game. I don't know why. But alright, I guess we're going to all fine. Excuse me, sir. The squirrel. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. Was that a pun? A little peek at you? My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Oh, don't smell that crotch. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic exploration, I see. Wait. If you're right, you just ate it. Why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. That you will not tell. But you are correct. I am indeed Ratatosker. Ratatosker. One who knows Ratatosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off, I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, Bitter squirrel. Now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed a little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. Like, he has a little armor for himself. I assume he fights. Ah, so that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim, of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely stable. So basically we need to get more of these world tree seeds in order to unlock new places. Oh, okay. Well, main path. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure I can. Kind of a weird, another element that it just kind of added an extra bit of friction to you. You didn't need to make it where we have to all of a sudden collect seeds to unlock new areas across the world tree. You could have just opened up the path and that way let us choose where we want to go. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost and they attacked us. The dark elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, light elves came back. They seem better in Alphonse. Did they now? You see what I mean? You don't actually have to keep walking. This is actually a loading zone. If you just stand still, the door will come to you. But yeah, kind of a weird choice to... Alfheim. I don't know. Pad time? Not sure where the temple is from here. But that's where we'll find Grow a Shrine. Broken history. Aye. Not exactly an easy fix for that. Because somebody in the design team said, you know what would be really great? 
instead of just kind of letting people, you know, travel or kind of like do the side stuff as they want to, what if we locked them to a choice and then if they did the side stuff, they have to do the side stuff until they find another world seed? That seems like an unnecessary mechanic. Yeah, 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 but here's what we'll do. We'll have Ratatosker, uh come in and he can be like the charming squirrel and he'll be armored. It's like, oh, that sounds great. People will find that adorable. Yeah, we can give him bright blue eyes and everything. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble winter. Can I really not jump down there? Like, is there any reason why Kratos cannot just enter this giant asshole and drop down there? Here's something out there. Something big. I'm big. It's in pain. Oh, we should take this sword. Look how cool this sword looks. We should take this sword and add it to our arsenal. But now that would that would require, you know, an in-depth combat system and game design, and we don't want to do that. Oh hello, Norn Chest. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. That's one. I really feel like it would be up there. Perhaps we can reach that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, because for some reason the the blades of chaos can't reach that. There we go. Yay, health increase. Nope, need one of two pieces of heart. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting on your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes lube. Ah, very well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You say that like you don't like lube? I did not raise you to not like lube. There, the Temple of Light. Gros Shrine is at the top. I know. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. First try. Look at this spear. Man, it would be cool to have this spear. Or something. I don't know. Glaive? Thinking about destiny.
Oh, we got purple rocks. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Oh, That's what the? Stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Oh, so it's a it's a mirror, is what it is. This is gonna be a laser puzzle. We have to bounce things and refract them. Very clever. Okay, that's gonna be the gimmick, huh? Okay, that's fair. I don't mind a little bit of laser puzzles. Why would you stand next to it when you just said it's gonna explode? Why are you my kid? Ooh, fancy chest. These things smell awful. You smell awful. Wait. Why can't I? Behind you! Oh. Look out! Oh, new ring attack. Okay, so that is. I'm glad they brought this one. I did like this attack. I thought that was very cool. Man, you have to grind XP. Everything requires XP here, I see. So expensive, too. Oh, I didn't realize there's literally United States of America on there. What the hell? Oh, this is uh, Death Stranding. Which is interesting to me because Death Stranding is not technically a Sony first party title. Because Kojima Studios is technically independent. But then again, Kojima likes being everywhere, so if they told him, hey, do you mind if we pay you some money to be in God of War? He'll be like, sure thing, boss. Kojima has never been one to turn away a paycheck. Long ago, Fear of the Vanny traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Who was it earlier that was talking about Under the Mayo reviews? If you're still here in chat, sound out. Further you get XP gains are insane, so you'll be able to lie level everything pretty easy. Okay, that's good. Because that I was going to be like, god damn, that's some expensive <laughs> XP. That's enough. Please, don't need to do this. Take his life. It's like he's a mime. <laughs> Look at that. He's, and the guy's like, what the hell is this guy doing? Is he forming an invisible wall? Is this art? Am I being cultured right now? We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. How rude. Whoa. Man, now we gotta fight the light elves. Oh, 
Hold on, quickly double tap. Oh, okay. Oh, boo, they reuse the same animation as uh, the Iron Harry are. Oh, oh, that's cool. If you. Oh, I see. If you break their mask, they instantly become stunned. That's kind of cool. Hidden stun points, I see. Is there a secret um, weak point like that on the Ein Harriar? Does anybody know? Because those guys were kind of annoying, not gonna lie. But if there's like a quick fix to them, like a secret weak point, I'd be down for that. I like that. That was good. made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, the elves. While knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Don't have that thing. All right, we'll see. Wait. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. Roger that. Whoa, look at the detail. They definitely improved the detail in enemy models. Again, it would be cool if we could take their swords. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. Each poem cover is different to fit each game they're talking about. That makes sense. I was like, why is the United States of America there? But then when you read the poem and you realize they showed the USA, it's like, oh, it's Death Stranding. Made it kind of easy. I didn't check the cover on the other one, but it was Horizon Zero Dawn. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Yeah, I feel like that may have impacted his decision. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, it's here. You keep pushing forward. And he starts calling him Trey, just to make it really awkward. <laughs> Great job, Trey. And then, like, Kratos would laugh at his uncomfortable nature about it. What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. I know now that Kingdom Hearts is full of light. And so what happened is they fought for the light, and in doing so, in their war, it became fragmented and separated until seven princesses of light could actually recapture its power. Okay, we got a little bouncy rock here. What am I supposed to bounce it into, though? Oh, that. The door. Okay. There's a light. <laughs> yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. Okay. That's Good to know. Hope. What's 
What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Ow, oh, so light. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. So the Light Elves are addicts, got it. What is this thing? Oh, so it actually doesn't bounce based on where you are. Just it literally bounces in a set direction, which is wherever it is pointed to. Got it. jump down here I think it was kind of weird when he said the souls are so disturbed and it said it must be Fimble winter and he's like oh, of course it makes sense I'm like does it make sense I don't know man <gasps> you're looking at something over here Alright, so I need to drop down and rotate this or something. Is that a path or something? Okay, I feel like there's something simple here that I'm overlooking. Oh wait, hold on. So there is a correct angle to shoot well it at. Okay, so now I know. It doesn't just refract the way it's looking. You actually have to hit it at a very specific part of the stuff. Good to know. I guess that was part of the tutorial on using the rock. Speaking of light elves, let me try talking to them again. Okay. Maybe it's just to let these two do their thing, Maybe you can throw those back at them. Nicely done. I 
Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Ooh, I'm super glad that there wasn't a big penalty for that. That was a pretty clean fight. Here, they came across on light bridges. Now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Man, if only Atreus didn't forget the spell on his bow that is still enchanted to absorb light and shoot these Lucky damn crystals. But I guess. We can't disfigure some architecture. This way. Shrine awaits. I mean, no, I guess punching things works too. I just kind of wish that they did contextualize it a bit. Like, Atreus, how come your light arrows literally don't do jack shit anymore? Where are you going? I forgot how to use it. Temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance. Hi, bring a sword. And themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just a foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. The shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah, you know, you just like to be thorough. Okay, we're gonna do the Guardians of the Galaxy thing where they comment on literally every little time we go off the beat. Uh. That was a big hit. Good lord, these things hurt. What is that? Oh wait, I see. Should I do this? There we go. Now we're thinking with portals. I think I had all those life crystals earlier, which should still be there. Guess not. Brutal. to build doors and make themselves stronger what do the dark elves want with it to return it back to its source to them the natural resources of alfheim are sacred none more so than the light itself aye the light elf success came at a terrible price alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple <laughs> In the mind of Thrasia. That looks like that weird paint game. What was it like, Urban Graffiti or some shit like that? Oh no, that's um. What's that create your game game? Dreams. That's what that is. Dreams. Man, Dreams had 
was in development for so long and had so much potential and went nowhere. It just kind of became people used it for memes. And even that didn't last very long. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here. Get back. Oh, that's good to know. Why are these guys so much easier than the I Harry are? Was I just going about them all wrong? I gotta look that up. If I was just fighting the Harry are wrong. going your way. Should do this, though. At least I tried. I get it now. Why they keep fighting? The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. <laughs> and not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alpha. Remember when I told you I told you so last time, Atreus? Just saying that's still true, I told you so. Alright, where's my bouncy crystal? Sure made a lot of big light doors. Hmm. Ratifications. Aye, none too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. We got a bouncy crystal here. Hey, that looks interesting. What is? I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. Yeah. I don't mean to speak out of turn, but the white marble wall behind that grate. Perhaps your axe can reach it. Then maybe if I do this? Yep, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I should buy some skills actually, I got a bunch of XP.
completing a father-son combo triggers a prompt. How do we do a father-son combo? I get the feeling XP farming is going to be a big deal. But we'll see. Oh, if what Vash said is true. Tier complete. Frost Rush. Frost Rush. You can disable skills. Interesting. So is it is it better now? Like what is what do these tiers mean? You see what I'm saying? Like, for some reason, when they changed the system to do all this stuff, they didn't make it any better. How do I use a relic? I shouldn't have to be asking this. Because it's not the same as using a runic attack. How do I use a relic? They have so much flavor text, but they don't tell me how to actually use it. They should be like, press something to activate this ability. I'm going to have to literally go into the settings and look at controller. And then look how the hell do I even use that. Oh, that's how you quick turn. I actually didn't know. L1 plus down? That's... Eh. How do I use a relic? <laughs> Is it passive? What am I supposed to be doing? Hold on. I have to look this up. It's really gonna eat at me. To use a relic, hold down the L button and tap circle. Was it that hard? Ah, oh, I see. So it's on the side there, and when I hold R1, then it gains me access. They should have just said, like, hold down R1, or in this case, block. Or hold on L1. Hold on L1 and then, you know, that's your option right there for your relic. Back to it then. That really wasn't clear. 
All right. He speaks so stiffly, like, even more than I do. That was really rough, Jesus. Okay, this is the one I was uh, thinking earlier with the kid with the paintbrush. I don't remember what it's called, like, Urban Monsters or something like that. I don't remember. It looked like it could have had potential, but whatever. Urban Jungle? I don't remember what it's called. I suppose I'll leave you to it. Behind you! Incoming! <laughs> I need some help, Regen. Can't believe that works. Why would that surprise you? You're a god of war. And you're like, that was violent. Well, that was a passive aggressive tone. You You know we want to get to that part. Alright. That's just teasing us then. Anointed a new temple guardian. Sparta offers a counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now, too. Oh, I see. Okay.
Hold on. Okay, I was making that way too. I was overthinking that. Chest better be worth it. Accessory. They come. Do what you must. Slidor, throw your weapon at it. A slowly moving white orb, hurry! Okay. You gonna finish that thought? I wonder if this statue were to fall over the chasm. <laughs> Alright, just tell me what to do, I guess. the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Is that a Zelda joke? the last one they don't make it easy do they hold on Let's look for the last one oh pot up there Oh, I'm going to have to bounce it that way, huh? All right. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Chest. 
generous. Well done. Tyr is so supportive. It's kind of weird. Blood for the blood god. You kind of don't see somebody constantly lavishing Kratos. It's kind of unusual. Look, over there. And here we go again. I saw you. What's your life? See you later, bye. No comment on that? Okay. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle is gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? That player not abandoned the realm, a lasting piece of form now. Can we really place all the blame on Freya? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path. Sound a little judgmental of you, Tyr. Let's see. Oh, I really should push it the other way, shouldn't I? Statue's Twilight Stone to get the right angle. 
Okay, you're telling me that I did it wrong then. That's fine, I guess. Interesting to me that the Blades of Chaos are being used more as, like, Zelda tools than they are actual weapons of combat. I think I still overall prefer usage of the Leviathan Axe, to be perfectly honest with you. Wait, was I right the first time? I think I was right the first time. These puzzles seem more tedious than fun. They kind of are. Because I don't feel particularly clever for quote unquote solving them. They're just, I don't know, ways to slow down the pace. They're like, yeah, you want to cool down between fighting, right? I'm like, do I? In this action adventure game, do I really want less action? I don't know about that. Hold on, I heard a bird. I guess this was wrong. Where's up there? Stop saying up there. What the hell's up there mean? A glowing green thing? Sure. Father, up there. What are you pointing to? Just saying up there is not telling me anything. What are you talking about? Oh, I see it now. The wings are connected back here. What? What was he? S what? Father, up there. What are you talking about? That green light up there is is bothering me though. Now he's saying it too. What are you guys pointing to? We keep saying up there. I am so confused right now. They keep saying up there. I do not know what they are talking about. What are you guys talking about? Chat, help me out here. I, I legit have no idea what they're talking about. They're distracting me. Look, up there. Oh, you want me to destroy the wings. Oh. All that just to get me to destroy the wings? I guess the reason why they didn't occur to me is because I've never had to destroy the wings before. I didn't even know I could do that. Ugh, whatever. That seemed like a complete waste of 10 minutes. Do you still hear something wounded out there? I think so. It could just 
be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. I swear I was so confused with them constantly saying, up there, what there, were you talking about? The chamber will bring us to the top once we find our way past yet another light door. Yet another light door. Are you tired of them too? I have to admit, they're not an terribly intrinsically interesting mechanic. Tyr, you want to like leap up there and face the right way? Allow me to speed this up. Oh. Yes, thank you. Well done. At your service. You could have done that. I don't know. Everyone's gotta take wise cracks at me. Limitless. Limitless what? Power? Growth? Ambition? A bit vague, innit? Yeah. In it. mother inside last time but I can't anymore her soul is one with the light now united by forces older than Odin himself she is at peace Atreus I hope so when father went inside the light he said you went he... inside the light of Alfheim yes and yet here you stand of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated you must tell me Kratos what did you see that memory is for me alone I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Yeah, they never exactly said how long was it was on the outside. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so conversation was difficult to say the least. Once we reach a stopping point, we'll reach a stopping point. Father, she's... she's gone. Yes. Moving. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. 
So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf King... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tyr? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. No such thing as right and wrong, just actions and consequences. Can we not just jump down? What if we enter the light? Oh, it won't let us. Oh, the God of War's tears surprisingly calm. That's what I'm saying. Like, for some odd reason, he's all zen. And stuff like that. And he's all like, wow, you guys use violence. I'm like, what the hell were you doing as God of War? Guard is just snarking around, more like. I guess he just was a cheerleader for his... You know, for his side. I'm so lost with this plot. Like I said, there is much less sense of purpose in this game so far. Like let's look at the let's look at the story so far, you know. Tyr didn't know anything, so we went to go see Freya. World Serpent said something. He said Ironwood. And then we're now investigating the rumor of this one person to talk about the prophecy that we still don't know what the hell we're talking about for a war we don't know is actually happening with a dude who doesn't know what the hell's going on. And then Kratos is along for the ride. Oh, of course not. Do you think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Hey, Sindri, wasn't your forge on the other side of the shrine last time? My, someone's got an eye for detail. Perhaps the light elves felt it looked better on this side. That is such a hand-waving answer. Honestly, I'm as puzzled as you are. But it's best not to look a gift forge in the two-year. Very messy. Anyway, good luck! That is such a bullshit answer. I have not been using Frost Awaken and Flame Whiplash that often. Like, at all. I do not have Dwarven Steel. Because this is another thing that I'm noticing. Is like, at first I thought, oh, surely there's going to be more shit to find. There isn't. There's not going to be. Instead of having like a whole bunch of like we fit this armor and then we have a whole bunch of rarities to equip to it and then customize it further with like gems and runic slots. No. Instead we just have a couple of pieces of armor and you have to then spend a lot of materials to upgrade them up trees you may or may not care about. 
I cannot say this is more exciting or interesting. If anything, again, it seems like a step down in terms of the customization you could do. Shibui Shibui, hello. Want to say you're streaming? Yeah, honestly, I was, it's funny. I was actually just about to wrap up for this uh, this session here. Found the recaps of Final Fantasy. Have to go watch this get nostalgic. Please enjoy the ride. Thank you for watching. How long is that playlist? I have to wonder. Drugu of... Oh. Drug of Noon. Sorry. Love your videos. Thank you. Much love. Hey, thank you so much, my friend. High five. Appreciate you. Thank you for watching. I'm kind of making streaming a more regular thing for the games that I'm going to be recapping sooner and later. Alright, let's try one more checkpoint and see if we get through Alfheim. The giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Shouldn't we bring Tyr back to his vault in the middle of the lake? Because it's his vault. And then talk to him about the giant shrine that was missing its piece. Or at least the future that's in store that directly references him. Shouldn't we be doing that? Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... Something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be me. You assume too much. Aye. Cut down. It's best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, here. This is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... I can't. What's this then? That's new. Someone destroys an entire realm? Asgard is destroyed? The other realms thrive? And Odin dies. Jeez, rude. She lied. You are lying. Of course she did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin! We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we could win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But we just saw no, you. No, Atreus. This is wrong. Why is he so against it? Come. There's much to discuss. You think Tyr of all people would be down for taking down Odin? Amumir alive again? Well, he, remember, they chopped off his head and then immediately resurrected it with Freya in the last game. 
Can they get him a body? I don't know. I don't know if you could reattach a body that easy. It seems like the only person who's casually using old magic is Freya, and Freya's not their friend right now. I'm not sure why Tyr is so against all this. You'd think for someone who's all like, yeah, thanks for freeing me, man. Anyway, I literally don't want to do anything except watch Netflix. It's like, why the hell did we free you? We should just put you back in that hole if you're just going to be useless. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Maybe you can throw those back at him. Thanks for the assist, kid. There we go. I guess completing the tiers give you XP, and that's why you want to care about completing them. Maybe. Where did tier go? And also, tier doesn't want to help us in battle. He's like, maybe we can make friends with these guys. I didn't realize you could reflect those. That's good to know. Yeah, why are those guys so much easier than the uh, Ein Harriar? Or my mistake, as God of War Ragnarok wants to say it, Ein Harriar. Bronze tier kill light elves? I didn't know that was a thing. But okay, we're doing it. Also, slight comment on the other categories for game of the year. This game is up for best soundtrack. Have you heard anything in this game that's like, damn, this slaps. I have not heard a thing. This is just like ambient music. Got him in a corner. I kind of wish you could put Atreus on like a light AI. So you'd be like, hey, if your arrows are full, it's okay to shoot an arrow, man. It, it, trust me, I'm not going to be mad if you shoot an arrow. If you got full quiver. Father, this way. Did they mention the Bifrost in this game? Bifrost is now like a status ailment. And they use the Bifrost that they have on them as mostly a flashlight. That reminds me, I'm not using my quick turn. That is a mighty quick turn. I'm okay with that. That's a that's a mighty quick turn. Is that the father-son attack thing? Like when he happens to be next to me? He's really worked up. I think he's okay. Focus, Atreus. I don't know. Tears. Tears. Weird, man. This way. Like what he's saying and what he's doing in the context of the story just honestly aren't lining up.
The music in this game is just mid. Yeah. Like, it's serviceable. Like, okay, it sounds like uh, we're doing stuff. And that's pretty much it. I was hoping this would lead to treasure if I went the way that he didn't go. Oh, he decided to fend for his life for once. Oh, we got a boss here. Okay, we can't knock the mask off this one, I'm guessing. I'm amazed that I got that re that repose. get too overconfident. Oh. oh my god, I was right there. I'm not I'm not gonna do that. I, I got too sloppy at the end. I got too overconfident. I'm gonna do that fight over. I was I was about to say, damn, I'm really on point with these shield slams and counters, and then I just got sloppy at the end. Got sloppy in the end. I need to roll backwards. Oh, come on. Ah. 
Yep, gotta roll backwards this time. I was countering you. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Ugh. I'm getting you. I'm gonna give you one try. I'm not gonna waste the resurrection stone on that. I should save my rage for the end. That's what I should do. that one. Much cleaner fight. Take her sword. Look at that cool ass sword. You're not gonna take it? Come on. Here? Are you okay? No. Oh, now we can upgrade the Leviathan axe. Nice. I I took a life. How are you this soft? Okay, dear. You've seen what is to come. Yeah, you're supposed to lead an army. I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? Elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. Yeah, kill Odin. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. What broke him? You three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths unimaginable pain and suffering then why are you here why are you helping us then oh, no no betray us oh, I Your hook shot. Your story based hook shot. Don't drink in the souls, man. You don't know where they've been. Damn, I was really scared for Kratos' life there, weren't you guys? I thought he was actually going to die. Everyone knows Kratos' biggest weakness is water. Agreed. Oh. Tear, wait. I can turn into a bear sometimes. Are you injured? No, sir. 
How did tears stick that landing? Like, all of us fell into the water. Well, I mean, I fell into the water. Atreus fell into the water. Of course, Kratos kind of saved me, but... Hey, Tear, why are you such a bitch? Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. For as long as he's lived, and as much as he's done, Tear of all people should know Odin is the central source of all these problems, so if he's really out there to find a different solution, he should still be finding a way to stop Odin from this false prophecy. And even if he doesn't want to like engage Ragnarok in the final ending, at the very least, you you can't Look, avoid dealing with Odin. I just want to do the right thing. And even if it's not per the prophecy. prophecy. Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough. Kill. We'll discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Take any of these weapons, dude. Like, look at this massive glaive, those cool, like, sort of, uh, I don't even know what you call that type of sword. But that sort of saber right there. These maces. These chakrams. This cool-ass shield. I should be looting this right now. All these little arrows? Come on, man. You guys seriously don't see the value in this? At the very least, as somebody who clearly loves loot, Kratos should be taking it to sell it. Absolutely character breaking. Zero out of ten game. Dark elf assault. How fortuitous. We're so sick of fighting elves. Can't they just leave us alone? And Tyr complains a lot, but he doesn't really offer solutions, you know? Why is he choosing to be so useless? I don't get it. Actually, wait, those guys are worth a lot of experience. Hold on. Ah, oh, come on. Travis, wait, there's loot to be had. It's nice to know that Alfheim still continues to be a drag of a level. That was in no way more interesting than Alfheim in the last game. Let's keep moving. 
And you think that in the three years, these elves would have run out of people to kill each other with. Gotcha back. Okay. Okay, that was mean. This music is great, isn't it? It's like better than literally all the music in the year. This one track, very riveting. section was boring, I'm gonna be inclined to agree with you. You want war, Atreus. See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. Another time. That's not the main path, sorry. That's a side quest we will not be indulging. Well, I hope Tyr's had enough time to find his equilibrium. Or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. Really? There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jodenhan? If the giants saw to your leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. He's got a point. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it? Mr. 
Kratos, I would speak with you. Oh, it's a summon that we can't use anymore for some reason, because the trace forgot how to summon between games. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? Wow, good a shot. Magnificent throw, Master Crater. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Well, any questions before you travel on? Yeah, how come it's a tutorial to ring your bell, but not a tutorial on how to use relics in this game? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms. The brood of Nepo. Nepo? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Atreus series. Interesting that they will say Nidhog, but not Nidhog, like everyone else will say. Nepo choose the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. I never got a summon in the last game. Honestly, uh, once I found Murder of Crows, Murder of Crows was, to me, just like the best summon. I never use Ratatoskr. Until our next encounter, then. Yeah. 26 more days. I don't want to be loading screens anymore. Yeah, there's no point. It's just a loading screen. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. Sindri didn't make the table any bigger. You know what he's putting in that so-called stew of his, don't you? Vegetables! Fucking vegetables! From out of the dirt! That just ain't right. You're out of the dirt. Okay, well, this is a good spot to save. Our journey so far is 720. I think we could deduct at least 20 minutes from, uh, from just the puzzles itself. All right, I'm gonna end recording here.